It was, I tell you, a packed room last night as Bloomberg and Vanity Fair hosted a panel discussion. We called it Covering the Crisis. Some of the biggest headlines came not from the panel, but from some of the notable faces in the audience. They included hedge fund manager Bill Ackman, who questioned why the press and regulators were so leery of short sellers. The short sellers are actually, in my view, the canary in the coal mine for the capital markets. If I were a chairman of the SEC, I would hold a weekly meeting with Jim Chanos if he'd sit with me, and I'd get his best ideas of what frauds he's identified so I could focus my enforcement staff. If I were at the Wall Street Journal, I'd, I'd keep close touch with the short sellers because they're going to expose the big stories. All right, we're going to stay with Bill Ackman. His bold bet on a bankrupt mall operator is actually paying off. The hedge fund heavyweight is a big investor in general growth properties. And John Ehrlichman, I know you're here, John. Have, you've got more on what really has been a winning investment for Bill Ackman, right? It's been very interesting. This was a very hot story yesterday, Eric, because Simon Property, another player in this space, said it's considering buying some of General Growth's properties. General Growth shares rallied on the news. They are harder to trade these days because the company filed for bankruptcy, but they do still trade. And Bill Ackman was a guy that late last year, when there were all these concerns about General Growth's ability to refinance its debt swooped in, started buying shares around 35 cents on the dollar at the lower end, and certainly he's made some big money on this bet so far. Obviously, we have to see this bankruptcy uh, proceeding follow out, but it's, it's an interesting development, and uh, what will Simon Property spend? This is certainly still a big question out there. They do have about $4 billion in cash. The question, though, is General Growth Properties bankruptcy, if it's going well, then maybe they can get better bucks than they could have when they were uh, entering bankruptcy. Let's talk a bit more about Ackman, though, because sure. if you're an activist investor, not every single bet you're going to make goes right. Remember Target? Obviously, yes. that was a yeah. bit of a disaster for that him. Was. What else is Ackman betting on right now that we should be paying close attention to? In the latest filings that we've seen, uh, he likes fast food. McDonald's is a name he's been watching. Triple to stake in that name. And Corrections Corporation of America. This is a bet on prison the prison business, uh, <laughs> uh, jails. Basically, his view is that if uh, people are going to commit crimes, there's going to be demand for prisons. So that's that's kind of his take. The stock, by the way, is up 50% this year. There is a sort of a sensible yeah, it, cause it, it and effect. There, I guess there? it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> All right, John. Uh, good, uh, good coverage of Bill Ackman. Thanks very much.